Hello YouTube. Just gonna do a quick video here on the Aver Media Game Capture HD2. I know some people have been having problems um, with the HD CP on the Xbox One when you're trying to re uh, record games. So I'm gonna try to explain it to you as best as I can and how I have everything hooked up. Um, I'm using my uh, cell phone for this video so I apologize if the image is not good and if it's a little bit shaky. Um, so I guess we'll get into it. So this is the Avermedia Game Capture HD2, and you can see I just have a 32 gig uh, flash drive in there, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it. And of course you got the headphone, the mic, and it's going to say HDMI power and all that good stuff. All right. So the way I have this hooked up is I have a HDMI splitter, as you can see here, and the blue cable right there is going from the Xbox into the splitter and then the white cable is coming from the Wii into the splitter and then of course the splitter is onto the input on here and then I have HDMI going from the out of this into the TV alright now this is some of the problems people have been having and I wanted to try to show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Xbox just like that TV on and we'll turn the receiver on now what happens is when you turn the Xbox on first thing that comes up is number one lights up and then the HDMI I don't know if you'll be able to read that it's gonna light up because it's gonna be a pass-through so let me back up here real quick See when we get this going. And I'll tell you why this takes a little bit of time for it to reboot. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. Because this is what you're going to have to do in order to record games without getting that HD CP protection okay so what we're gonna do is say we got Call of Duty Ghost in there and say you wanna be able to record that so once you start up your Xbox if you wanna go to Call of Duty Ghost hit record it will record it so we'll try that out just real quick click on that and what we will do now is to the game capture device use the remote okay what you do is you simply hit the record button oh my bad you gotta turn it on first right that would help alright so let it boot up and you'll see what happens when you actually turn it on You can see the green light is flashing. It takes a couple seconds for it to boot up. And then you're going to see the screen flicker a couple times just to let it get going. This is okay. And that should be fully booted. All right. Alright, once again, let's try this again. So if you want to record, you just hit the record button. And what will happen is, you can see it. That's the record light. And it'll start flashing just like that when it's actually recording. Okay. So I'll simply just hit the start button. Who are you? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Alright, so it's recording. Obviously this works. So to stop the recording, you just hit the record button again, which is that button right there. And sometimes the remote's a little bit finicky, but there you go. And it's going to flash really quick just to let you know that it's you're done recording. So that's done. Alright, now say you're done recording games, now you want to go watch TV. Alright. 
So what I have to do now is I'll just turn on my cable box because the cable box is connected through the Xbox One. So it is through this. So now we're going to TV. <clears throat> now this is when it gets a little bit weird because um, some people have the problem where once they go into TV mode then go back into a game mode and try to record the game, it won't record it saying it's HDCP protected because from what I understand, TV, it might be protected. I'm, I'm not sure. But for me, for some reason, I'm able to actually record this. So if I hit the record button, let's see if I can get it to work. Here we go. And you can see it's recording TV. Okay. You can see TV, TV, it's recording. Now I'll stop the recording. get it to stop here. There we go. Okay, so it's blinking and now that is done. Alright. So obviously, you can record games, you can also watch TV, go back to your game, record game, record TV, and it's not going to give you that protection. Now, say for instance you want to go to Netflix. If you click on the Netflix and you start watching a movie, it's not going to let you record that. If you try to hit the record button, it's going to tell you that it's HDCP protected. And then your box is going to go into a mode where that green power light is just going to keep flashing. Okay? And I'll show you exactly what I mean. Go into Netflix. Alright, yeah, we'll just pick this one for now. And we'll just watch anything that's up there. <clears throat> okay. So once you go into Netflix, it's, the box is still going to show that it's ready to record, even though it will not let you record Netflix. Okay. So we go up here. We'll just Cocaine Cowboys. Click on that. The guys in the boat would okay. stand up and they would hold so this is on. Now, let's see what happens when you try to record this. Record button. Okay. This is what happens. That's what it comes up. It says, this HDMI video content is HDCP <coughs> protected. Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. And this is what's happening with this. Power light's blinking, it's letting you know it's not going to be able to record. So we hit the close. That's what they were doing. Okay. Now it's going to go back to this. All right. Now this is the thing. Now that light is blinking. So when you're on this screen, you go back home. Say you want to try to record Call of Duty Ghost. Problem is, it's still blinking. It's not going to let you record it. Even if you go back to the home and you go under here, hit the start button, and then this will come up. Now, I thought if you go under quit and you hit that, it will close the app. The app is no longer running, right? I guess it doesn't work that way because it's still blinking. So if we go back into Call of Duty Ghost and we try to record, let me show you what happens here. Hit the record button. See, it comes up again. This is the problem a lot of people are having. And I believe the reason why it's doing this is because the Xbox One is a multitask system, so when you watch Netflix or Amazon, or uh, probably even the Voodoo movies or Xbox uh, videos, anything like that. Whenever you go onto one of those apps and open it, then you get out of that app and you go like to a game, that app is still running in the background, so the signal from the HDMI cable out of the Xbox into the Aver Media is still reading it as HDCP protected. So what do you do? Now, people on YouTube have said that what you have to do is you got to turn off your Xbox and then unplug your Xbox from the back of the unit, plug it back in, then turn back on your Xbox, and that's the only way to completely end all apps that you had open. That's not necessarily true. I found this out where it's still the same concept. You still have to restart your Xbox, but instead of turning it off and then unplugging it, this is what I do. All right. So as you can see, you got that. That's blinking. You got that on there, you got the Xbox on. So what I do is, of course, you turn this off first. 
Just wait for that to turn off. I think I did it right. There we go. Okay. So that turned off. It's back to that screen. Okay. Now this is what I do. It's very simple. Xbox button, tap it, and hold it there for like five or six seconds until it turns off. Just like that. You let it go. <clears throat> I usually wait maybe three or four seconds. And then I will reboot the Xbox back on. Just turn it on. You can press the button. You can press the button on your remote and do whatever you want. And wait for this to reboot back up. And when everything turns back on, of course, you would turn on your Avery Media. You can go to your game, go to TV, go to game, TV, game, back and forth with those two, and you still be able to record. But once you hit Netflix or Amazon, you're going to have to reboot your whole system again in order to record. Okay? Now, I don't have to show you all that because, you know, running out of time here for my upload video. Um, what I will show you real quick after this boots up is the settings that I have. Um, I tried all different settings, the best setup that I can think of when trying to use this Avery Media because sometimes you're going to have to reboot your system. And a lot of people might have it hooked up where I, I had it hooked up like this in the beginning where you say Xbox on, everything would turn on TV, the Xbox, my receiver, the cable box, all that stuff. And then when you turn it off, everything turns off. But since you got to keep rebooting your Xbox, you don't want everything turning on, turning off, except for the Xbox. So I just have it set up where, uh, let's see, hold on, let me turn on my controller. I know this is, you know, this kind of kills some of the cool features of the Xbox One, but, I mean, if you want to record for right now, this is what we're, you know, you're going to try to have to do. Let me see here. Oh, I guess i got to sign into this. What the hell, man? All right. Just real quick. All right. Oh. What the hell? All right, here we go. So, if you go into TV and Guide, this is what I do. Okay. Guide, Devices. All this is set up through here. Everything is set up. The TV, the cable box, and the receiver is all set up. So you can still use your voice to control them if you want. Now, Power Settings. This is what I changed. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. First one says Xbox on turns on my devices. I have that off, so I can't. I'm not able to walk in my room and say Xbox on for, for the to turn on. I just either use a controller or hit the button on the Xbox. All this other stuff is turned off. You can turn it off by your voice, and then uh, Xbox turns off all my cable or satellite box. I have all that off. Everything's off, so everything is done manually, just like back in the old 360 days. All right. So I changed that setting. And I believe that was the only other thing I changed. Yeah. I mean, this is an older HD TV, so 720p. Yeah, so everything is right there. Okay. So that's basically it. That's how you get around the HTCP and how to record games, all that stuff. And the splitter does work perfect, having two different systems hooked into the one device to capture stuff. <coughs> um... I bought the splitter off of Amazon, it was like 13 bucks, can't beat it. This is the second one I have and I haven't had any problems with it. Um, yeah, just in order, just, just quickly remember, you cannot record the Xbox One and the Wii at the same time through the capture card. So if you want to switch from the Xbox to the Wii, you have to actually physically turn off the Xbox first and then turn on the Wii. And then you'll see on this thing it'll go from one to two. So hopefully that helps some people out. If you have any questions, you know, leave some comments, and uh, I'll try to check it as soon as I can and try to answer some of your questions. So that's about it. Uh, if you just want to see real quick that I'm not lying, that it actually did record. Let me turn this back on real quick here. It's a little slow. Okay, let's 
this is what it goes through. It should do it one more time. To black it out. Yep, there it goes. Okay. So just real quick, just to show you, this is the stuff I recorded. You go into the menu, go to Media Studio, and you will see two clips right here. That was the Call of Duty one that I did, and then that was actually the TV one. So if I hit the TV one, you see it load, and you'll watch it real quick. Okay, it recorded the TV. Back out of that. And we go to the Call of Duty one real quick. Play that. And you can see it's recorded that. So now if we back out of all this real quick. Back out, back out. Go to menu. Okay. Back out. We'll go back to the home. Go back to Call of Duty. And I'll show you right here. You can, as you can see, once I rebooted the Xbox back, that green light's no longer flashing because all the apps have been officially closed. And now if I hit the record button, it's going to record again. So that's what you need to do. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching.